This is it. They're back there, but they don't see us. Benny's sweet. Coming in. Coming in? That's words. Come on. Come on in. That's the one. There's also a radio Welcome somewhere. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. New Vegas. Thank you very, very much for listening. Well, you know what that means, folks. Time for some news. Refugees at Bitter Springs. I have heard of this refugees at Bitter Springs. Okay. What do we have in here that is potentially compromising or or revealing excuse me that's a ruined couch it's not that ruined you should see my couch okay we got a lot of doors back here and a briefcase or suitcase whatever <laughs> I actually have no idea what the distinction is I wasn't even aware you could Carry a suit in a case. Can you do that without wrinkling the suit? I think I heard something. Was it Eddie opening the door? I heard something back here. Okay. Um. That's, um. Who's that? That's not Eddie. That's not Vicky. Victor. Vic uh. Who's it? That's not Victor. Because Victor has a, has a cowboy hat. But it isn't one of the security trons either. That might have been the noise I just heard. <clears throat> um, Who is this person? Yes, man. Excuse me. Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you. What can I do for you today? What are you doing here? I mean, you're a yes man, but I, I wonder if this question is as if I w thought that he might be Victor? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes, man. What kind of name is that? It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Oh. Pro Benny reprogrammed a Securitron all by himself? Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. Uh, I didn't get a, get a quest update there. I wonder if that's... Who could that be, actually? Nobody on Freeside told me about Benny. Although, I mean, they might have mentioned the tops. Um, What is this place? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. You're not, but it doesn't... <laughs> You're not complaining. Uh, have you seen Benny? He was around here not too long ago. He's probably down on the casino floor now. You can wait for him here if you like. I'm incapable of asking you to leave. That is a very good Securitron. I did... We did meet Benny. He he wants to come up here. We're, we're going to find out what happens. Benny stole a platinum chip from me. Do you know what it's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Map marker added. Uh, what's Benny planning to do with the chip? Oh! He wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses. Most prominently, his Securitrons. 
And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy. <laughs> You're very forthcoming with that information. He's yes man. But um, can that actually be done? Sure. If the chip can be used to reset administrator privileges, it'll be super easy. What if I wanted to take over New Vegas instead of Benny? I mean... Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. What are the details of the plan? Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. He's literally telling me how the game is gonna... Like, <laughs> they're taking his yes manishness, man, man Manhood. Yes, manhood. That sounds... Uh... Anyway, the, the thing is... They're taking him as being an SMN to, yes man to such extreme lengths that he's literally telling us how to, uh, how the game is gonna take place, <laughs> what is gonna happen. That is true. The local, actually, I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, yeah, the local tribes. He said, it's definitely gonna be the Umertas and the White Blood Society, but it's also gonna be the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, I'm very much looking forward to that, especially in regards to this sort of old old school technology. That's probably the first one that we should go and deal with. Uh, but I think it's also the NCR itself, and um, it's also the the Great Cans. We saw that. We still need to go and, and meet the um, the Fiends. Wait, is it the Fiends or is it the great, great Cans? The ones that we saved. They were Cans, weren't they? Well, anyway, the ones that we saved in Boulder City. So, say Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. How would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. I've been inside the Lucky 38. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the Platinum Chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. What do you know about the courier Benny shot? I knew he was carrying a Platinum Chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for him. That's why Benny put me here to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? Knowing all that is not what smart is. Also, I thought there were six couriers, not seven. I'm going to have to look into that because I thought it was like one out of six. I'm the courier Benny shot. <laughs> I know that's not true because you still have a head. I, I'm i serious. <laughs> that's not funny you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. Where's the platinum chip? Benny carries it with him at all times. I think he's paranoid that someone might want to take it from him. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. It is not. Um, once I get the platinum chip, what then? I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kerpow! The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it after all. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. 
It's up to you. Let me know when it's done and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is going to be great. I'm going to help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. Um, so I should ask these tribes if they will support an independent Vegas? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Because you're the yes man. Which tribe should I <laughs> get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too. Like the Boomers, the Great Cons, and the Brotherhood of Steel. The Boomers. Hmm. Let's, um, that's the... What the heck are the Boomers? I was gonna say it's the Powder Gangers. I know who the Boomers are. <gasps> 2020 has ruined that word. Um, I mean, it's just because... Anyway, the, uh, let's talk about the tribes I should get to know. Of course, ask away. Let's just, yeah, start with the boomers. What do you know about them? They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion or NCR, though, well, that'd be neat, wouldn't it? And map marker added. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you about the boomers. Take all the time you need. Anything else I can help with? Uh, yes, the great cons. The cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. They live in tent like animals. Yeah, like, you know... Animals live in tents. The implication there, I think it is supposed, he is supposed to just be saying racist things. Although, are the Great Cons? I, I don't think there's a racial component to it, but it sounds like it. Because he says dirty, and, uh, and you know, of course, you know, the, 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 the sort of looking down on people who live in tents. Um, is, is, has a, that has a very, a very then rich history of racism at attached to it. And so, certainly calling people animals also has a rich and varied history of racism attached to it as well. So it sort of makes sense that he says they live in tents like animals, but it, I think it's funny because animals don't live in tents. You know what I mean? How have the cans been kicked around, though? They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. Yeah, we're going to learn all about that, I think, because they are going to explain it to us. Uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to take some more time with the cons. You set the pace. Anything else I can help with? What do you know about the Omertas? And also, how is it pronounced? Hmm. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Do you know anything else about the Omertas? Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something, because he said they always are. I'll check into the Omertas some more. Whenever you get around to it, we'll be just fine. Anything else I can help with? What do you know about the White Glove Society? From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. Cultured and clean. 
Uh, yeah, I'll let you know when I'm done evaluating the White Glove Society. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else I can help with? It's gonna be a while until we get introduced to all of these, uh, to all these factions. I think right now we're we're gonna start with the uh, like I'm gonna try to figure out what the heck Benny is doing. So we're gonna for the moment we're gonna try to uh, pursue the quest of with Benny here. Uh, but it's clear like we have we have our work cut out for us in regards to the fate of New Vegas, uh, Benny or no Benny, Mr. House or no Mr. House. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna focus on the Brotherhood still because of course we have Veronica with us, um, and uh, we have heard where they are. In fact, they are in the Hidden Valley. I think Veronica mentioned it, like she name dropped it, uh, in a completely unrelated question. I think she said something about the, them going retreating to the Hidden Valley, and we know where the Hidden Valley is. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that that's the place in the middle of the mountains that had a very very strong wind in the middle of the night for no reason. Uh, we found we saw when we arrived there for the first time there was a strong wind. Uh, I think we actually saw it's the wind start. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. But where should I look for the? Well, actually, the question here is not about what he knows about the Brotherhood of Steel. Is about where I should look for the Brotherhood of Steel. So maybe he's just gonna say that it is the Hidden Valley. Some of Mr. House's data said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. What do you know about the Brotherhood of Steel? They go around in big suits of power armor and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. I'm also not ready to decide what I want to do with the, the Brotherhood. No rush. Take your time. Anything else I can help with? Uh, let's talk about something else. I'm not sure if there is. Whatever you say. So friendly. So if I click there, I can come back over here. Yeah. So you said something about a bunker at the fort? Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. I don't think that's the fort here of the, the Mormon fort here in, in uh, New Vegas. I think this is something else. <laughs> the last thing Vegas needs is more robots. Um, I'll, I'll go check it out. Neat. Let me know what you find out. Wild card, you... And what army? Huh. So, remind me what you said about... Oh, the, right. If I click there, he just... Uh, yeah, he goes back to that. Goodbye. Come back later if you need anything. Such friendly people. Locksmith's reader. Broken terminals. Dang it. No data storage detected. Check tape drive connection. Dummy terminal inactive. Network connection not found. How about this one? Oh, they're all broken! What is this? Okay. This is all behind Benny's bedroom, and it's not even locked. He didn't even lock the door. Door is inaccessible. Take elevator to sub-basement. Oh, okay. So maybe Benny will have the uh, the key to take the elevator to the sub-basement. So we haven't been even to the basement of, of, uh, of this casino. Let alone the sub-basement. So let's look at, at the quests specifically. Now we have a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, that we are doing. Search Benny's suite. Confront Benny at the top's... Yeah, that's still not done because I think I still need to wait a minute. Is that normal? That's not normal. Something happened here. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't happen. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Sorry. No, no. It's fine. They're friendly. 
Yeah, yeah. The door is just inaccessible because we're not supposed to to open it. Let's leave it leave it open. It's not like they're gonna mind. Excuse me. Hi. Ring a ding, baby. Ring a ding ding. How's it hanging? I thought Benny was a stand-up guy. Hard to believe he was a fink all along. What? First off, a fink? I have no idea what you're referring to. But the, something happened. Something happened in the quest for him to say that. I hope that Benny's... Oh, he must have left. I mean, it makes sense. If, if he knows that I... Somehow, if he knows that I found his little secret, I think is probably just a traitor because he's, he's betraying Mr. House. But... But, uh... He's probably not there. He is down there. That's him. That's him. Okay. Okay, so he didn't run away. He might be very upset that we messed with his things. So, this let's just... This place is the bee's knees. It is. Um, let's, uh, just say, talk to... What was his name? Swank? You're back. Find anything? Yeah. Benny reprogrammed a Securitron, and he's trying to take over to the Strip. He's what? Ah, oh, jeez. Gee, gee. Oh, this is, this is really bad. What are you gonna do? I, I don't know. Uh, I thought maybe I'd talk to the man, see if I can work out a deal or something. <laughs> yeah, that's ballsy. Good luck with that. Sounds good to me. Hey, there's the high roller. I might need to wear my sexy sleepwear or whatever. I still have it, though. Naughty nightwear. You know what? That's right. This helmet just goes amazingly well with this. It's the bee's knees, and you don't... It's, it's for sure. I don't know how to go back... Do you need to... How do, I don't know how to get back up there. Either way. Uh, please don't fight me. Are you gonna fight me? Because you know what I did? Mind where you point those dimmers. Right, um... I got my eye on you. It's no funny business. Right, these guys... Hey, there's the high roller. These guys are... They got... They got us. Evening. That guy has a Tommy gun. That guy has a Tommy gun. So, Veronica also has the, her eye on Benny. Cool by me if you want to talk after all. But a confab like this, out in public, in my place of business, that don't play. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. So, the jig's up, Benny. Me and Yes Man had a talk. Baby, this is not the place to go talking about that. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. Okay. So we need speech. I want that. I want that. Let's see. We, well, it's, we, we're. It's gonna be fine. He doesn't. He doesn't aggro. I think I will have a magazine. For extra speech. Okay. Keep those hands where I can see them. Yeah, I'm just gonna read a magazine and wear my Brotherhood armor. It's fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds, meeting people. So, Benny. Two conditions. Lose the bodyguards, and we both go to the suit now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Hey, there's the high roller. Hey, there's the high roller. Evening. We have We haven't been here. This is the presidential suit. Crunchy mud fruit and fresh apples and I uh, don't mind if I do. But now that you and me's got some privacy, I got to ask, how is it that you're still living? Uh yeah, a <laughs> that's a good question. A security John dug me up and uh, a, a doctor in Good Springs did the rest. House was on to me from word go? I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Uh, you left quite a trail, though. Like, I'm gonna show him his cigarette butt and a lighter. 
Look at me, a big leaguer, so I claim, making all the mistakes of an original loser. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? Uh, well... I got questions, a bunch of them. You got questions, I got answers. First things first, tell me about the platinum chip. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. How's the chip work? It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer I've found. Must require special hardware. Let's talk about something else. How else can I clue you in? I want to know about the factions gunning for Vegas. Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you straight. Okay, tell me about Mr. House. A good cat to swing with, or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. No, it's what you'd call rent. Hmm. Huh. I He said, until he stopped mewing. I believe that it means, like... That's just, he, he stopped being, like, present, and he saw that as a power vacuum. So he made a wrong bet, basically. What makes the chairman so special? We're the definition of cool, baby. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir faire to run the strip on our own. What do you think of the Omertus? A tribe of finks. Every single one of them is a degenerate. Mark my words, they're playing an angle. How do I know? They always are. This still doesn't answer the question how he knows. What do you know about the White Glove Society? Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite, if I may this, my pleasure that. Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. Hmm, the resort is... It's not the Gamora. Which one is it? Gamora is of the... Omertas, I believe. It might be Gamora. Gamora, which incidentally is uh, the... Biblical city of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. And I... When I was wondering out loud before what it was, I forgot about that. Uh, and that's where it is. It's just basically a, supposed to be a city of sin. Because we are in Sin City, after all. Well, new Sin City, because of the it's New Vegas. Uh, fill me in about the NCR. A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too. And smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House and a lot afraid of Caesar. If the NCR beats the Legion at Hoover Dam, they'll turn on us and claim the Strip. And we don't have the muscle to beat them. Not yet. Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. It is complicated. Tell me about Caesar's Legion. Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole towns. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're going to try to take the dam again real soon. And if they do, Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. And... If they don't, and the NCR takes it, then Vegas as we know it will cease to exist as well. It's complicated. 